fellas, is that time? BT's game of the week. BT, where are we looking to next weekend for our biggest and best matchup? They've saved the best to last. The last game of the round, Sydney versus Brisbane at the SCG. Both teams, what, five and one? Oh, Both. huge. That's Other, a dirty uh, outside. Fast lot. Oh, it is. They've been absolutely <laughs> done there. That's horrible. Yeah. 240 how, on a Sunday. How have the WA teams escaped with the no dreaded Sunday afternoon time slot? I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Eagles have a freaking Friday night game. Don't deserve <laughs> that. Yeah, I think th- this is a very good game. This is uh, both teams I can see finishing both top four. If you look at their team stats for the season, similar in everything, they, they average the same weight and same height of the players. Everything's the same. Oh, geez, you've gone it's, deep here. I've gone deep. Yeah. <laughs> the av- average average high is 189 for both. Average weight is 88 kilos. They're, they're oh, right. right on. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Literally everything, everything's within five of like contested possessions or uncontested. Everything's so close. It's going to be a cracker game. It's both quality teams. I can't wait to watch that one. Tazza, who are some of the stars for Sydney which you think have helped get them so far to, to five and one? Callum Mills is slowly built. Uh, and I'm mentioning him because he's just absolutely climbing my fantasy team up the ranks. But um, no, he he has been very good. He's slowly building into a, a really good season. Heaney as well. He's been whether whether he's in the midfield or forward line, he he can hit stats in the midfield. He'll go and kick goals in the forward line, and he is spending a little bit more time in there. I think with the well, he was with Buddy out with him back in, he did spend a bit more time in the guts. Luke Parker's been quite good. Logan McDonald's kicked a couple. Hayden McLean hasn't been too bad as well. So they've 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 been they've had good con- uh, contributors all across the ground for me. I think it's um and the emergence of the young midfield as well and row bottom guys like that have been um, really solid for them. What about Brisbane, Steve? Smoke and Joe still shaping up as one of the best key forwards in the competition. He is on fire. Yeah, I mean, I think him him and obviously Charlie Cameron, I feel those two just work so good together. You know, one tall, one small, just kicking goals for fun between the two of them. Uh, obviously, Lockie Neal looks like he's probably back in uh, Brownlow form. So, I mean, they've kind of done done their business, gone four, five and one kind of on the back burner, I feel, because they've not really played too many top sides yet. But, um, yeah, this will be this will be a good test for them, I think especially away. To touch on Brisbane, uh, in a season prediction video, I said they'll be 10 and 1 come there uh, halfway through the season. So that's looking likely. I think the the big one who's coming through now is Jared Lyons. He's starting to hit form now. So that's another big midfielder in there. And you got Harris Andrews, Marcus Adam and Stasovich down back. That's a very solid back line. I'm really glad you mentioned the back line because they've been really impressive. Uh, Adams and Harris are number 11 and number seven for one-on-ones in the competition. So they are just getting it done. And just the emergence of that second key tool is really going to hold them in good stead. You know, when they come up against these big, you know, dynamic duos like your Geelongs of the world. So really important for them. I think that's a, that's a key part to their team. And something that Sydney, that's probably their knock, I think, is their key defender stakes is just lacking a little bit, particularly with the McCartan concussion from the weekend. So not not sure if he's going to play or not, but yeah, they, they're sort of lacking in that department, I think. Brisbane's strength and conditioning team, that needs to be pumped up a little bit more. What they've done with guys like Mark Adams, Lincoln McCarthy, Nakai Cockatoo coming in, those guys played a handful of games at the, at the clubs that they were with before, the Cockatoo and McCarthy at Geelong. And now they're, I mean, the Cockto isn't a huge star, but he's, he's a good role player for them. And Marcus Adams forming part of that real back six there. Just huge for them. All right, so fellas going across the group, uh, tips for this game. Big game, Steve. Who do you like? Brisbane. I think I'll go, I think I'll go Brisbane. I, I think, yeah, just a little bit, little bit better around the ground than, than Sydney. I'm going to give it... I think they're so even matched. I'm going to give it to Sydney being at the SCG. BT. I'm going with I'm going with the Lions. I think the the forwards, like you mentioned, the forwards against Sydney backs. I think that's going to be the difference. Yeah, that's that's where I'm heading as well. I know it to the SCG, but 
yeah, the key forwards is the and the key defenders, sorry, for Sydney is the big issue for me. So uh, chalk me down for Brisbane in this one. Let us know your tips in the comments below. Let me know who you think is going to win. Should be a really good game. We're looking forward to that one.